With tax season fast approaching, now is a good time to start weighing your filing options. One of those options is filing online, which in many cases can be done for free. This year, the IRS expects more than one million people to use the Internet to file. Saving money, of course, always sounds good, but for those of us who are not so computer savvy, how tough is it? And what's the best choice? AOL Consumer Advisor Regina Lewis is here to walk us through it. Regina, good to see you. Hi, thanks, Russ. You know what? This has been around for a while, this filing online stuff, but who yeah. benefits from this? Well, actually, uh, consumers benefit because it is the single fastest way to get your hands on the cash. Three out of four taxpayers expecting a refund this year. If you file electronically and have that direct deposited, you can expect the money inside of 10 days uh -huh. as opposed to four to six weeks. You're also, and this is interesting, less likely to be audited because the error rate for doing your taxes online is 1% as opposed to if you take out a pencil, 20%. People make math mistakes. They enter in their Social Security incorrectly. So that's a pretty good draw. The, the, the forms look pretty tough if you're looking at them on paper. Are they really simple enough <laughs> online for those of us who aren't so savvy doing this to get through it's them properly? Great, it's a great point. In fact, the, the actual number this year is 100 million people uh -huh. will file their ta uh, taxes electronically. A third of them will do it personally. The others will have someone do it professionally. So the bottom line is, if you're working with an accountant, they're using these tools. But you're going to pay hundreds of dollars for them to use the same tools that are now readily available to consumers for less than $50. So uh -huh. it's certainly worth considering. I would say on average it's going to take you 30 or 40 minutes. Oh. But most of these sites are pretty intuitive. Okay, that's not bad at all, 30 or 40 minutes. Yeah. The IRS, I understand, has a free site to do your taxes. They do, and it is pretty much what you would expect from the IRS. Here it is. It's pretty bare bones. It's incredibly secure. If you make less than $58,000, you qualify for free federal returns. There is a nominal cost for state returns, and you'll see that across the board. Mm -hmm. That's because when you make a tax code change on the federal level, you can update the software once. Obviously, states, six of them don't even collect income taxes. It gets a little bit more complicated. So you're going to see a state fee uh, in all cases. I see. Now, TurboTax, we see their commercials all the time. They yes. have some free services as well, right? They do. They are the, in, the category leader far and away, and they are the most intuitive in terms of ease of use. So if you're familiar with online banking at all, you're going to find this a breeze. It works like a GPS. It literally guides you through. You almost almost feel, Russ, like you're taking a survey. Huh. You don't even see something that remotely resembles a tax form until you go to print it. So it takes all that form and formality out of it. As you said, they're, they're the, the granddaddy of the state. They are. Any, other, any other big deals that they offer right now, TurboTax? Um, you know, TurboTax has a guaranteed highest return rate, So, and they have a ticker. So as you're going through, they will adjust the numbers if they're able to get you a higher refund, and you will literally see that going up, up, up in the upper right-hand corner. Hmm. It's kind of neat. This year, for the first time, I've seen H&R Block doing ads on TV for free online services. Tell us about that. They do. They have it on their website, although their play and their big differentiator here is to still play into their, their storefronts. So they have something for $80 where you can start your taxes online, and then you can go to one of the H&R Block stores uh -huh. and have someone review it and ultimately file it for you. 80 bucks is still cheaper than walking in with your receipts and starting from scratch. Of course, I want to ask you about Tax Act. What is that and what it's does it do? A, it's another player, tremendously secure, a little bit cheaper. I would call it the more bare bones model, but if, if you're really cost sensitive, you can check out Tax Act as well. Okay, Regina Lewis, thank you so much. Thanks. We'll see you next time. And for money saving tax advice all season long, you can log on to our sister website, cbsmoneywatch.com.